You said you wanted a little bit of rice for your uh, burritos today, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, there well that's it is. 50 pounds of rice. Yeah, is that enough? <laughs> that's a lot. All right, we're going to use a little of this for the burritos. I'm going to go back downstairs. I got some more items from the store. All right. You cannot carry that. That's too heavy, right? Okay, so we got to get your rice steamer going, make one batch of rice for it. Okay, I want a little rice in my burrito. All right. Okay. Very beautiful. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's been a while since we talked to you guys. We haven't had much to report or uh, videos to do over here. It's been, you know, how the weather is. And it's not like the Philippines where you can go around and do a lot of fun stuff all the time. So we're now getting back to you. And it is Saturday, the day before Easter, which is it's tomorrow. So this is like Easter Eve. And we decided to make some burritos. We've been making them lately just for fun. and. Um, learning more and more and so I thought I'd share with you guys what we've uh, learned and there's so many things you can have uh, put in a burrito it's, it's probably no limit to it like tomorrow's going to be uh, like I said Easter and we're going to make an Easter ham so the following week I think we'll be making breakfast burritos um, and you know you can make those are really good uh, and you can make those um, like scr scrambled eggs uh, cheese and and a little onion maybe and some uh, little uh, diced up uh, chopped up uh, uh, russet potatoes or so many things you can do just uh, but today we're going to do the burritos made with carnita beef and that's for Maurice and I and Brianna doesn't like it that way um, she likes just the bean plain old bean and cheese burritos so this batch we're making is kind of a big batch uh, but we're going to be using it for other some other um, side dishes next week too. So here's the two pounds of carnita beef. I, I uh, took it out yesterday and um, the way carnita beef is, it's kind of long and stringy. And if you just put it in the frying pan like that, uh, I, I don't think it'd be very good to like beat, uh, eat your burrito and then have to chew on this stringy thing. So basically I chop it up. I took it out um, last night. I chopped it real good, smaller pieces. So you can see it's like this, nice nice size pieces, not long. Anyway, so I chopped it up, uh, put it um, in a bowl and marinated it with Worcestershire sauce overnight. And um, so now I don't have to do that today for prep. But there's a, a little bit of prep here. But like I say, um, you can use the ingredients you want. So here they are. Uh, we're gonna have some. We have some yellow uh, bell pepper, some jalapenos, two jalapenos cut up, uh, one one and a half or two tablespoons of olive oil, uh, chopped up onions, uh, granulated garlic, the sour cream, the mild sauce, uh, and this is uh, peppercorns that I actually blended up, and they're really fresh. And they smell. Smell really good, so I'm going to use that. I'm not going to use all that, but I'm going to get that going. And we have paprika there, uh, about a tablespoon and a half of that or two. And we have chili powder, um, one whole lime squeezed, chili verde sauce, and red taco sauce, mild. These are both mild. And one can of refried beans. If you know how to make them from scratch and you have the time, do that. Um, but this brand here is better than the actual um, Mexican brand because it's so salty. This is kind of a, a better choice, I think. But uh, you can find all this stuff pretty much at your local store, Walmart, whatever. And I'm uh, going to use a little bit of salt. And Brianna likes the uh, Mexican cheese blend, so that's for her. Uh, we're using the Monterey Jack. And the tortillas we're using today are the extra large flour tortillas. Uh, sometimes you can get the gorilla size, which is like this big. They're really nice. Uh, we found them one time, haven't found them since. So today we're going to be using these, and these are just fine. So let's get started. And last but not least, I almost forgot the most important part for Maurice. Rice! <laughs> so we already got the beans simmering on low. So they refine, don't have to worry about those.
What happened to your other chair? <laughs> my other chair was breaking my back. It's that Papa John chair. We got had two of them in here, and I just couldn't uh, take it anymore on my back. So uh, we, we sold it a couple days ago, and I went right out and uh, found this kind of a lounge chair for uh, patio decks and stuff. And I figured that it's lightweight, easy to drag up and down the stairs here when we move out of here, uh, probably at the end of the lease. is really cute. And if you're a little light person with a skinny little butt, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> little kids and oh, yeah. uh, others don't mind it. Maybe, I don't know, if you got a really strong back, I don't know. Yeah, but John's it, been complaining in this chair, so I don't want to hear any more complaints. So I told him, okay, sell it. <laughs> So we sold it in Facebook. So now we have only one left. Yep, that's right. We got rid of it and I'm so happy I got this. So I can sit and relax and watch movies and stuff without, I could actually go to sleep in this chair. So comfortable, it's very nice. And now, funny thing is she wants to sell hers and get one too. Mm -hmm. The kids love it. They keep climbing in my new chair. Bryce has been climbing in this. He likes yeah, Bryson it. Bryson loves new he stuff. He uses it like a slide. Yeah, and he slides down, <laughs> he slides down the bottom part of it. He has a real a lot of fun with this thing. Yeah. So are you gonna are you gonna get one? I think so. She thinks so. Well, we'll see mm -hmm. about that. I thought about if we had a bigger place, we could put that in Brianna's room yeah. or another another part of the house. It would be a nice feature in the house. Well, are you going to get a big house or are you going back to somewhere? No, I don't think the Philippines is ever <laughs> gonna get their head, head on straight. I don't think we're ever gonna, I don't know. Time will tell. We might get stuck over here, guys, until Forever. they allow the unvaccinated to come in. <laughs> Forever, maybe. Yeah. You might give up. The fact yeah. that they've gone this long and everybody else around the world is opening up mm -hmm. and realize that the thing uh, was way overblown in many, many ways. The, the fear was the worst of it. it ruined people's minds. Yeah. yeah We'd we love to go back, but right now they don't allow the unvaccinated, as I said, so... But it's good for the vaccinated people. They're good now to go back. Yep. So that's too bad. I hope they will open soon. But do you think it will open soon? Nope. <laughs> I really don't. So we're going to get stuck in America. Yeah, well, it's pretty comfortable right here, you know. That's uh, one of the, another reason we haven't been doing videos. We've been so comfortable and lazy and enjoying it. And uh, the people are genteel over here. It's not real, uh, it's not as hectic by any means as Florida or um, Reno and uh, Las Vegas, of course, just crazy yeah. town over there. So uh, we've really been enjoying ourselves and we've been getting involved with the uh, local church a little bit. And in fact, we'll be going to tomorrow. East, Easter well, Sunday, Easter tomorrow, Sunday. yeah. And, we, and Brianna does the Wednesday night uh, kids uh, jam, which is a lot of fun. Uh, they even got me to participate and help out with the, the kids, but it's a uh, we're really kind of settling in a little bit here. Yeah, our little apartment over here is very nice. The management are very nice. And we had a nice surprise for the management this morning. They dropped off some uh, Easter eggs uh, for the kids. Hi everybody, I'm going to open the door because I get a check of, of we have our Easter egg. Yeah. Whoa, they did put it. Yeah, he did. Good job. Okay, we will open that later, okay? Okay. Where that where that come from? That that came from the, the like the people at the front desk. Yeah, okay. the apartment they're really nice. They give that to us, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. We're gonna open what's inside in the egg. So this is the eggs. Yeah. What is that, Bryson? Yeah, yeah. One of them for open Bryson. it. One of them for me. This one portion. This one. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa, what is that? Is it's I mean, that candy? I don't know, it's though. Huh? Oh, jelly beans. Jelly beans, what is this one? One, two, three. Whoa, wow. sticker. More, more jelly beans. Yep, I can already see the stickers because of that. Okay, so this and uh, they're gonna have an Easter egg hunt today at 11, but there's a, we got rained out. It's always raining over here in Arkansas, guys, almost every day. Yeah, humid, humid today. Humid, yeah. more humid than it has been. And I expect it's gonna get more so. 
but uh, we do like it. We, we, get, we get along. Uh, we, we found a good dentist. We got some of our dental work done. I got mine done, and you're going to have some done next... 21st. Uh, next, yeah, 21st, next Thursday, I think. And Brianna is going to get on the schedule to get some done, and then I've got to get some more done mm -hmm. um, the week after yours. Yeah. So uh, we're going to kind of feel our way around here. and so. Our dentist is supposed to be in the Philippines. Yeah, our dentist, uh, the dentist over there gave me, um, put on 12 crowns for me over a period of time. And uh, it's been about two and a half years now that since the last crowns were on. And two of them so far have come loose. And I had to have them, uh, have one re-cemented already and then cemented uh, on. And then I the, have another one that's going to be totally uh, restored, which is going to cost some bucks. Uh, over in the Philippines, it'd be 400 bucks to have it done, uh, repaired, and over here that was going to be 860 bucks. But it's still a better price than you get in Florida or most of the country, uh, the East Coast and West Coast. So uh, there it'd be 1,200 bucks. That looks really good. There was a lot of liquid in here, but it's reduced down mm -hmm. a bit, it's getting thicker. How long did you cook that? Uh, 35 minutes so far, maybe a little bit longer. It's got to go about an hour anyway. You see it's getting kind of dry. Mm -hmm. and one of the other traditional elements they add to this is um, uh, they'll add an orange to it. So I didn't have an orange. Mm -hmm. Just a half a cup. Just about 20 seconds on each side, a couple times back and forth. That's how I do it. If you go too long, it gets crispy, then it's really hard to roll it. it cracks. Don't want that. No cracking. No. Uh, Brianna likes cheese and oh, beans. Yeah. Yep. Taco sauce. Taco sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like that, don't you? just to seal it up and brown it a little bit more and that's it. Are you excited for your taco? Yep, I'm excited. Oh, it's oh, a burrito. Oh, burrito. <laughs> I keep saying taco too. It's waiting tacos. Tacos. I'm out of this guy. <laughs> tacos. <laughs> Don't need to ask why. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. It's waiting tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's Brianna. Cheese and beans Cheese with and beans. taco sauce. Yep. Ooh, that's going to be a fat one. I hope I can close it up. A little rice. I'm not going to get a whole lot of rice in this because it's not going to close up. Mm -mm. What kind do you like? This one. Okay. Cheese. Yep, I already got oh, you cheese. Already you want a little cheese. more cheese you on already top? Did it, yeah. How about sour cream? Sour cream, yeah. Sour really cream, good. a little dollop on there. Oops. Come up to the side. Oh, you're going to close that. <laughs> How am I going to close it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like. Woo -hoo. Oh boy, that's gonna be a fatty. Be lucky to be able to close this one. This is gonna be a tight one. <laughs> It'll close. It'll close. I'm nervous about it. Okay. Oh, big burrito. That's gonna be a big fatty, right? Okay. Whoa. That's a fatty right there. Now it reminds me when I was pregnant with Bryson, I was craving for this beef burrito. There we go. 
A beef burrito, yummy. Look at that. Ah. Mmm. Oh my god. Is that shredded beef? Mmm, shredded beef. Mmm. So, yeah, baby's craving uh, jalapenos and shredded beef and mm. onion, jalapenos. What else is in there? Rice. Anything. We have rice. Guacamole. Mmm. Onion. Whatever. You happy? Oh my god, to die for. Now I can sleep tonight. Uh, I'm not throwing up. <laughs> Do you have to have one every day now? I think so. Okay. Somebody's gonna get me a burrito every day. Okay. Uh -oh. I guess I'll put that on the list. We are in Reno, Nevada at the hotel at that time. And, oh man, I keep asking John to get me beef burrito. <laughs> that was very good. So it reminds me today that I'm gonna have a big burrito just like before when I was pregnant with Bryson. <laughs> Right here. Num num. <laughs> Looks good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Almost you make a you. perfect burrito for me. <laughs> I hope so. I don't want to hear any complaints. You got a 100% score right there. Well, you better taste it first. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe you can have a burrito business. Oh, that would be fun. Sweaty, sweating in the kitchen 10 hours a day <laughs> and then cleaning up for another two hours. Maybe. But you're going to have to be my assistant. I'll be the worker. <laughs> no, you won't. I'll make a stack of them. And uh, we're going to have extras. I'm going to make extras. So we're going to take the rest of them that are left over tonight. We're going to go ahead and put them in tin foil, wrap them up, put them in the refrigerator, and we can just access them anytime we're ready. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to eat the burrito now. Put this in. Mm. How is it? It's good. Is it dry? You gotta get inside the meat. How many yeah. person you give? I give it ten, ten out of ten. Oh, oh really? Let me try it again. Yeah, get in there. Get some sauce on there. Yep, 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, here you go, guys. This is fresh homemade burrito from Daddy. It's really good, fresh, only $5, no tip, no tax. So, who wants to order it? Just message below. <laughs> We're gonna be eating right now. I'm hungry. Happy Easter, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. This one almost didn't get full of good. Mmm. Very good. I like the jasmine rice in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is very good on restaurant. We're so disappointed with restaurants, guys. We're down to almost never eating at restaurants anymore. Nope, never. We're 99 point something percent eating at home because I just can't take restaurants anymore. Yeah, the reason John started to make this homemade burrito because two weeks ago, he went to that truck right there, right here in Mau Mill and he ordered some burrito. And then he come home over here. There's nothing inside the burrito and it's, it's salty. Oh, it, it was so sodium, and then uh, one of the guys from church invited me over to um, meet him at a restaurant, and um, he, the food was so, so bad, I, and I told him to take my dish back, and they did, and, I, and they said, what do you want instead? And I said, well, how about just two tacos? And those two tacos were horrible, just like, tasted like salt and old food, and, and uh, a lot of the restaurants, Mexican food restaurants, the food isn't fresh, fresh, fresh. And uh, we had a couple. We had a good one in a couple of good ones in Los Angeles uh, when we lived there. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. And they're they're around sometimes, but uh, restaurants not just those. All the restaurants, um, all the fast food restaurants, totally suck. The Reno burrito, I like it too. When I was pregnant with Bryson, yeah, that, that was one? yeah. They made all they made was burritos though. Yeah, it was good. They didn't made nothing but burritos. That was a good one. There's really bad in Tokum Curry in New Mexico. Mm. That was very bad. We stayed there for like four days, five days in the hotel and 
We went to Mexican food. We ordered burrito. Oh my God, that was disgusting. Yeah. I never totally forget. disgusting. Yeah. So it's better to just make it your own at the house. I meet a lot of people that write that have told me that they're not eating out in restaurants anymore. <laughs> they can't take it. You know. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth it. But some, when you're traveling like we were, we had to. Oh, we yeah. had to eat the McDonald's once in a while. And no choice about, when yeah, you are traveling. You're kind of a victim. But yeah. that's what's great about having a place again. So mm -hmm. we can actually cook our own food. That's what we like to do best. Yeah. So we're, I don't want to go anywhere for food. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are having a great uh, Saturday and tomorrow enjoy your Easter. Take care. Bye-bye.